A tri-state city is in the running for a national title. Eyewitness News and Powell visited Jasper today to see what small business owners think. By this time next week, Jasper could be known as the strongest city in America. An application on the city's behalf was submitted by Mark Nowatarski months ago. City officials say it has been the talk of the town. It's just brought out um, conversation in the community and just brought out a lot of pride where people can cast that ballot for a community that they love to live in. Eckerly says the city of Jasper stands out from the other nominees in several ways due to its historical German roots, environment, and atmosphere. Well, I really believe that it's the planning that goes into our community. You know, we spend a lot of time on various plans, like a plan for the downtown or plan for the riverfront or the total comprehensive strategic plan for the city. Many of those plans involve small business owners like Seabirds, who has been a hub for dress clothes for a century. We're very proud. We all work together very well. We not only work in our businesses, but we contribute to the community. And that's, that's very important to most of us. And that's what makes Jasper a very good place to live. Chocolate Bliss is located just a few doors down and has been on the downtown square since 2005. And Kenise, who owns the stores in Jasper and in Huntingburg, says she's ready to hear those results. It is huge. We're so excited about it. Um, and Jasper just has a lot going on right now. So we're being a small community and have this much activity is fantastic. Kenise says she is sure that Jasper will win. Of course, of course. Um, I think there's community spirit here, um, support. I definitely think we'll win. Those results will not come until April 8th after all the votes are counted. Voting begins on Monday. To cast your vote, head to tristatehomepage.com. And Jasper and Powell, Eyewitness News.